Good morning. They're asking me to construct the equation of uh, a particular line and they're going to give me the line itself. Yeah? So they are going to give me a set of axes and a line and I have to construct the equation that describes this line. All right. Now, just a quick revision of what we already know. In one of my previous videos I've spoken about the gradient intercept format, the general equation of a line. And we discovered that together that that looks like y equals yeah, mx plus c. Now, perhaps you have ax plus b or cx plus z, it doesn't matter, as long as you realize that the gradient intercept form y equals mx plus c, that, that coefficient of your x is the gradient of your line, and the steepness of your line, and that number, the c, your constant, is where it goes through the y-x. So that's your y-intercept, okay? Gradient intercept form, okay? Check one of my previous videos if you're not comfortable with this yet. Now, I have to construct the equation of this particular line, okay? And I immediately write down the general equation, y equals mx plus c, and uh, the gradient intercept form. And all I do now is I discover what the gradient of this line is and what the y-intercept is, okay? Now let's start easy with the y-intercept. At which point on my y-x does it cross the y-x? Okay, well it crosses it over here. So what is that number? That is a 1, isn't it? Yeah. So I can already write down, so y equals mx, it's a positive 1. Okay? Now if this line would be here for instance, yeah, then it would be a negative 2. Okay? So where does it cross the y-x? Well in this particular case at point 1. All I now have to do is to find the gradient M, yeah, where the gradient of a line is, where I go one step to the right, how many steps do I go up? Yeah? And again, have a look at one of my previous videos if you're not sure what the gradient is. Well, I go one step to the right, yeah, one unit to the right, but it's difficult to see how many steps, in this case, I go down, yeah? because this line is going down, that's why I have a negative gradient. I already know that as well. But it's difficult to see, yeah? and it's not very accurate. Now let's find a better point. For instance, here, it's on the intersection of those squares on my graph paper. So, actually, if I go another step to the right, I go one step down. So in two steps, I go one down. That means that in one step, I go a half down, okay? So the gradient is minus a half, considering it's going down, eh? So y equals minus a half x plus one. That is the equation that belongs to this line. Y equals minus a half x plus one. Gradient intercept form. There you go. Now you try it yourself.